Yay. Okay, I'm live. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I am very excited to be sharing one of my favorite books with everyone. Um, our story title today is When I Carried You in My Belly by Thirty Um Rigar. And I really hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Um, so I chose this book because I just, I feel like it's the cutest book. I actually um, mentioned it the other day during a presentation I gave on um, vocabulary development, which by the way, I've included um, some information in our comment section. Um, Dr. Razor Becker is over our kindergarten boot camp, And so if you have a kindergartner, if you're interested, please let me know and I'll forward an email to her and um, I'll tell her that you're interested so that we can, um, you know, be able to read some stories to you and share with you some strategies with how to help your child um, in language areas and, develop and development. So when I carried you in my belly, and again, our author is 30 Umrigar, and our illustrators, so the person who uh, drew these lovely pictures is Z Zayu Chin or Shin, excuse me. Oh. Let's see what our story's about. And I carried you in my belly. It's a cute little teddy bear. Does everyone have a teddy bear? Love teddy bears. When I carried you in my belly, we went to a party once. So there's mom, she has a belly. Maybe your mother has a, a her belly is a little bigger right now too because you're expecting a little brother or sister soon. That's so exciting. A little boy pointed at me and yelled, mama, that lady ate all the food. So who do we think ate all the food? Yes, probably this woman with a belly. That's what the children are thinking. She ate all of the food. Now, do you think there's really food in her belly? Or do we think that there's a little boy or a little girl in her belly? No, no, honey. Excuse me. No, no, honey. His mama whispered. She has a baby in her belly. The boy's eyes grew large. She ate a whole baby? <laughs> Do we really think she ate a whole baby? Ha ha ha, I was laughing so hard, you began to laugh too. So her baby's laughing too. And that must be the reason why you have the greatest laugh today. So mom is saying, when that child made her laugh, her baby laughed too. And so to this day, she believes that that child has the greatest laugh because they laugh together when the child was in her belly. When I carried you in my belly, your daddy would kiss you there and plan to play ball with you as soon as you could walk. So there's the child's father kissing the mother's belly. And that is why you have become, what do you think? Maybe a little soccer player. My fearless little sprite today. So fearless. What does the word fearless mean? <gasps> Let's think about that. So I'm going to flip back. She said, when I carried you in my belly, your daddy would kiss you there and plan to play ball with you. And she said, that is why you are my fearless little sprite today. So the fact that they are, they're ready to play, right? <clears throat> Fearless means, can mean brave. So nothing, they're always ready to play. They're very active. When I carried you in my belly, grandpa baked a chocolate cake each week and cupcakes with frosting and sprinkles and lots of love inside. And that is why you became 
the sweetest girl that I know. So because grandpa made her sweets, made uh, the child's mother sweets, she's the sweetest little girl today. When I carried you in my belly, Nana built you a wooden crib. She'd whistle while she polished it. I wish I could whistle for you. With her old and loving hands. And that is why you dream the softest dreams at night. Oh, I love these pictures. When I carried you in my belly, I sang to you all day in many different languages. I sang you songs of joy. So I'm thinking maybe this baby's gonna be a singer or have a love for music. What do you think? And that is why you feel at home any place in the world. So the baby feels very comfortable. When I carried you in my belly, we danced every dance together. The rumba and the samba, the tango and the fandango. And that is why your feet. Tap and rhythm to the earth today. They look like they're having so much fun. When I carried you in my belly, we fed kittens out of saucers, baked bread for our neighbors, and hung bird feeders on the trees. I'm going to read that again. There's a lot going on there. When I carried you in my belly, we fed kittens out of saucers. So a saucer, just like a pot, like a little, we're going to say a little bowl. Baked bread for our neighbors and hung bird feeders on the trees. And that is why you have the biggest heart in the world. So let's take a moment to think about that connection. I'm going to flip back to this page. So mom is saying when she carried her child and her belly, they would do nice things for other people. So they would feed kittens, um, serve bread to their neighbors, and they would feed the birds too. So she was teaching her child when she, when her child was in her belly to share with others. And that helped the child to have a really big heart and wanna to continue to share with others when the child was born. When I carried you in my belly, we stared at the nighttime sky. We watched the stars a twinkle as we danced in the moonlight. Have you ever danced in the moonlight? I'll be honest, I haven't. I would love to dance in the moonlight though. That sounds like an amazing experience to take some time and just enjoy the beauty of the nighttime sky, to count the stars. That's good counting practice. Sounds very relaxing. And that is why in your eyes, what do we think? I'm thinking of the child has a twinkle in their eyes. Oh, says you sparkle each time you smile. So what do we think? Looking at this picture, how is the child feeling? That's an important skill to be able to look at others and be able to connect with them, to notice that when they're smiling, they're happy and be able to respond to them. When I carried you in my belly, I talked to you all day. 
I laid in the dark with you and whispered my dream. So she's talking to her child, probably like your mom talked to you. She's talking to her child before she goes to sleep. I felt your kicks and your heart beats as clearly as my own. So she's looking at her belly and she probably can see the baby's feet through her stomach. And that is why my baby, now that I no longer carry you in my belly, I carry you in my heart each day. The end. Okay, so I want to take some time to just think about this story. I think this is like a, the cutest story for mothers and, and children and um, just to kind of get some exposure to some new words. There were some bigger words in there and I took note of them. Um, so at the beginning for all parents that are watching, if you would like to just select a few words, kind of look through a book, any book, and select a few words that you want your child to focus on while you read them. And then as you're reading the story, you can kind of draw attention to those words, kind of highlight them in a way um, that the child is, you know, wanting to, that makes the child want to ask questions about that word and learn more about the word. So for example, um, I just kind of wrote a sheet out that includes some words that I wanted to focus on um, during our story. So our three words, I just chose three to keep it simple, were fearless, plan, and rhythm. So a child might ask about, you know, when I said that child was a fearless sprite. So the child may ask, mommy, what does fearless mean? And so that's a great opportunity to introduce them to a new word. So we could say something as simple as fearless means brave. You can do it. So that's when we, there's no fear. So we're unafraid. Um, plan. We came across the word plan as well. So I drew a light bulb here and you and your child could come up with a definition too. You don't have to go to the dictionary or anything just to encourage um, understanding of new words. So you may want to say something like, you know, a plan is a set of ideas to make something happen. Um, and then our final word here was rhythm. So I'll turn back to the page in the story, which I thought the pictures were amazing. So we talked about tapping in rhythm to the earth today. So you know, I might ask, what is rhythm? What do we think that word means? If we're going to tap in rhythm to the earth today. I see lots. I'm going to maybe point out the fact that I see lots of children playing with instruments. They look like they're having an amazing time. They're tapping in rhythm. So a child might guess, oh, I think rhythm means music. Close. Yep, music is, you know, has strong beats. So we would say that a rhythm is maybe a strong beat as a part of the music. So we could uh, review the words after we read this story. So what did we learn today? What does fearless mean again? Fearless means that you can do it. Fearless means that you're brave. I remember, and this, the child may say, I remember when the child came out of their mother's belly, they were fearless. Um, so another activity to do after reading a book like this is just kind of making some connections. So maybe um, if you are expecting or if someone in your family is expecting, that's an opportunity or if you come across someone in public that is expecting, that's an opportunity for you to connect with your child and kind of um, review what 
they talked about in the book or review what you talked about in the book with them. So um, I guess we, if, does anyone have any questions that I can answer? I'm looking at the comments section. Also, see, yeah. Thank you for everyone's comments, comments, excuse me, and support. I do think that is an extremely sweet book. Um, I also, I just want to thank you for participating. And I want to remind everyone that these events are taking place every weekday during the summer at 1030 and 1230 in the morning. Um, when you subscribe, you will get notifications. So please uh, subscribe and please visit our Facebook and Twitter page. So I think we're linked in at the bottom of the channel. Um, well, we will end there. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone next time. Please let me know if you are interested in reading any particular book and I will do my best to get that book or even any topic that you would like to read about. And then um, also if there's any skill that you wanna practice, so maybe you wanna talk about opposites, maybe you wanna talk about um, you know, vocabulary growth or narratives, any sort of like particular sounds that you wanna review, we could also figure out a way to adjust those through our stories as well. Okay. So I want to thank you for your time and I hope you have a great day. Bye.